defective because it makes you be honest with yourself and it prevents you from falling into a very common trap that I've seen when students are studying in the past, which is they think they know something because they've looked at the lecture slides. So you've looked at the lecture slides. You may have even said something out loud while you're looking at the lecture slides or quizzed yourself on the lecture slides. Not a bad method. If it works for you, keep doing it. This is only for my people, but that's not working. And by not working, I mean on test day, it's not coming up right. So like you're doing the work that you think and then you're studying and you get to test day and you're not getting the score you want. It might be a recall problem. It might be that you're falling into this trap of convincing yourself when you have a resource open that you know more than you know. The way to fix that problem is to actually test yourself. What do I know? What do I not know? And it does kind of suck and it is a little scary and a lot of people are resistant to doing it because it does make you be honest about what you know and you don't know. I would argue that's better than not knowing, but that's just my opinion. And this doesn't work for everybody. Like I said, 98%, there's still 2% of people that this doesn't work for and they should do something else. There's also a lot of people that don't need to do this. They, they have other methods, they have other styles of learning. But for the people that are struggling and you don't have something that can help you yet, Try it. Try using this method. Try one area. Try one structure and its branches. Axillary artery. Just median nerve. Do it for that. Then go into lab or take a quiz. Do some practice questions on that subject and see if you get more right than you used to get right. See if it helps you remember things. See if it works. Don't just trust me. Go test it for yourself. I don't care if you use this method. If it doesn't work for you, I actually don't want you to use it. But if on the off chance it does, this can change your grade drastically because it helps you create a mental map that you can use for lecture and you can use for lab. If I make a mental map of the arteries and I know what they go to and I know which branches should be there, I know what to look for in lab and I have landmarks that are the muscles it's supposed to go to to help me identify those arteries. If I'm doing a lecture exam, I have a mental map that tells me if one of those arteries is blocked, what's affected. So I think it's a very efficient way of studying this material because you get to study for both lecture and lab and it points out what you don't know and it helps you focus on what you need to fix. So if you try it, let me know how it goes.